This is how to play Summit of 69. We are covering all sections of this song and you can see quick links to each individual section in the description below if you want to skip ahead. But we're gonna be starting at the beginning and playing a D power chord in open position. So this is a standard D major chord but we're not gonna be playing the thinnest three string because that would make it a D major, not a D power chord. We'll keep the finger positions the same as this though and then we're going to change to an A power chord which we'll play with one finger. So when we strum the D power chord, we're going to play string 4, 3, and 2. And then when we play the A power chord, we're going to be playing 5, 4, and 3. So just the thicker three strings of each chord. D, and then the A. And those are the strings you want to hit when we hear this open sound, which I'll talk about in a second. But now, once you can do that, we want to make sure that we're getting a palm muted sound, which is correct. Which is this chug sound uh, that we would play by resting the outside of your palm over the bridge area just here. And there's very much a sweet spot for this. When you do this, you only play two strings out of each chord. So just string four and three for the D chord. Such a great example of this. And if we just hit it as I'm playing it in that fashion, this sounds more like Now I'm Here by Queen. Now crucially, as I say, there's a sweet spot that we need to have your right hand in. If it's too far this way, over to the neck, it will be too muted and it's just going to sound bad. If it's too far the other way, it doesn't sound like anything. You need to lightly press down, and for me the hairs on my back of the hand, I can feel them on, on the bridge just here, but there is a sweet spot. So again, if I'm too far this way, it doesn't make any difference. And then just there. And you can press down quite heavily, but there's there's there will be no need to, you just need to lightly press them down so we can still keep the movement in your wrist. That's on the A chord, on the D chord. On the A chord, same thing, but up a string on string four and three. On string four and five. Just with that one finger down. And then we have this pattern. Once you can do the D power chord, and the A power chord, and then the palm muting, we have this specific pattern. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's the pattern. And that pattern is open, mute, mute, open. And then we finish off the rest of the this two bar pattern. So open, mute, mute, open. One, two, three, four. Open, mute, open. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then change to the A. Three, four. One, two, three, D. One, two, three, four. And that part is really clear in the intro and you can even keep that exact same thing going throughout the verses because it is again just two bars of the D chord and two bars of the A chord. A better pattern can be just um, just to strum a D sus2 throughout that whole verse. And that would start when the whole song kicks in. Me and some guys from school, that's just one strum and a D sus2 which is the D without your middle finger. And then an A sus2 then. Had a band and we tried real hard. Jimmy Cook, Joey had Mary. Should have known we'd never get far. Now if you wanted to do a more strumming version of this, you know if you're just singing it at a, 
a family gathering or with friends at a barbecue, you can keep a down, down, up, up, down pattern going. Same chords, thesis two, and thesis two. And that's the strumming pattern that we'll keep going throughout the bridge as well. The bridge chords are a B minor, which is a bar chord I'm afraid. But there's an easier way to change to the next chord, which is an A, by utilising the one finger A chord, which is holding down string 4, 3 and 2. But by kinking that first finger like this, so that we can... do that. You can still play this A if you prefer, but that's a really handy quick change between the B minor and the A. Then it's a D major chord just for a bar, and then it's a G major chord, which I will play kind of the rock G, uh, which is with all fingers, apart from the first one, just lift off the first finger. So we would have in total, two, three, four. If you were just strumming just your own version, um, you know, as I say, just, just kind of doing this with you, yourself singing, you could do a D major for two bars, down, 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 down. Okay, so just D and then the A. Uh, we also have this riff though. This riff is actually played on keyboards, it's a synthesizer, uh, but we can play it on guitar and this utilizes something called sus2s, which we've covered already, and sus4s. There's an easy way to remember them, basically which one's which, which is when on the uh, D sus2, you only have two fingers down, and then when we're on the D sus4, you have your fourth finger down. But it's actually the second note and the fourth note of a major scale, in this case the D major scale, that we're adding to the chord, in, in replacement of the third as well, in replacement of the, the major third of the chord, which is why it's called suspended, because that third note is suspended, it's not there. Um, and we have the D sus2 to normal D, D sus4, D, sus2, D. And the melody is played on that thinnest string and Aria kind of hears that as the main melody. We'll pick it as well, but let's just make sure we've got the order um, going there first. So sus2 to the D, sus4, D, and then sus2, D. So we're always going through that normal D. And once you've got that pattern, it's the same on the A chord, A sus2, A, a sus4, A, sus2, A. I have a lesson on sus2s and sus4s just here. Uh, they're fantastic for creating kind of recognizable riffs in songs then, and, and they can be used in, in so many situations. But here what we want to do to, to get the real sound of the as the record is pick um, on the on each chord that we play string one, two, three. So we did that on the D sus2, then on D, sus4, normal D, and then just two strums of the sus2 and the D. Same thing on the A, but we pick string 2, 3 and 4. Then just two strums.
When I'm doing that single string picking, I'm actually resting my wrist just above uh, the strings here or on the thicker strings just to get some purchase and pick each individual one. It does make it slightly easier. Uh, but the only other section to cover now is essentially the power chords in the bridge where it has a total change of key. This song so far has been in the key of D and we have all the chords that are associated with D. So A, B minor and G. That's all the chords in this song until the key change which uh, it changes to the key of F. We only have to play an F power chord, or a bar chord. It will sound probably better and heavier this way. But if you wanted to, you could add in the bar chord. If you wanted to fill out the sound a little more. And then the other chords are a B flat at 6th fret, and then a C major at 8th fret. And we just go through the chords in that order. So that was one bar of F, two power chord of one, to the B flat at six frets, eighth fret for the C, back to the B flat, same again. I guess nothing lasts forever, forever. No, and then we're back to the picking section, and it's changed key back to the key of D which is, um, this key change doesn't happen in every song, but that's a fantastic example of it, and I definitely one to check out. This is definitely one to try and jam along to the record with, and uh, it's a rock cover band's favourite and a wedding band favourite. I used to be in a wedding band, and this, this always made the set. Uh, thank you so much for watching. You can check out more electric guitar techniques and lessons and songs all on my website at andyguitar.co.uk. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video.